Yep. Awesome. Okay. Let's shake that tape this time. Back again. Back again. Quite, a little bit quieter. Quieter this week, yeah. yeah. Sorry for the audio last week. We came back with Martial Law. Martial, Martial Law, 1990. Oh, yeah. David Carradine. Some, some fucking dude that I've never seen before. Yeah. Some woman I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. She had some good moves. She had some kicks. Maybe she was a better... Better fighter. Maybe. Than, yeah. Than she was fast. Yeah, was very fast. Snappy. Reminded yeah. me a lot of Mortal Kombat and some Tekken fights. And, uh, yeah. I, f I feel like this is a movie script that somebody sent to Steven Seagal and he was like, no, I'm busy. <laughs> they got passed down the chain until it's like, yeah, definitely could see it. Yeah. <laughs> So you'll Three rounds you, down. You will be fighting against David Carradine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. Don't, don't feel like it. I got a deceased Yeah. So this is like, it's a kind of story you've seen a dozen times. Yeah? Yeah. You got kind of the, the rebel, kind, not really a rebel, but he's his own kind of cop. They call him martial law because he likes to use his fists and his feet more than his... <laughs> His, his gun, gun and his cuffs yeah. cracks down and crying. Yeah, and uh, and then he's got his. He's got his own dojo. Yeah, he's a martial arts instructor, some kind of nondescript Korean art. Something. Yeah, they don't. They can't really tell. Random techniques used everywhere. He's got his kid brother that's on the wrong side of the law. He just steals cars. It gets it gets arrested. He's terrible at it. He's a terrible, it. It he's a terrible why do they criminal. Keep using them? I don't know why. And then you've got the kooky villain played by David Carradine. Oh, yeah. Who just likes to watch young men fight it out. <laughs> Shadiest dealer ever. I don't know. Those underprivileged kids just duking it out in his office. He recruits kids at his dojo to the steal cars for him or do whatever. He also sells weapons. Oh, yeah. To senators. It's like a thousand bucks per mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no matter what it is, a thousand bucks. But clean up a dead body for him. Hundred bucks. <laughs> Just a The '90s were a strange time. The markets were significantly less inflated than they are. You can do more time caught hiding a body than you are still in a car. It's weird. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'd rather steal a car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah get get the thousand bucks. Yeah. Caught with a body. Right. Definitely. <laughs> you want to take these shots? Yep. David Carradine. Okay. Here, God rest, rest his kinky God soul. Y'all should be doing this for their belts on their neck. <laughs> 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 Hold on, I've got a belt. Are, are we? No, 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 no. 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 Yeah. We've already done that okay. on film one time before. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian did that one time. <laughs> yeah, Brian did that. You can go check it out. <laughs> That's a last clear one. Point. Girlfriend. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, it was good today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Better every time. <laughs> and that Daniel Craig earlier. Don't put hair on your chest. Oh, Elijah Craig, sorry. <laughs> That's a Daniel oh. Craig earlier. I sipped up some Daniel Craig. James Bond came out here. I thought the film was really good. I felt like it was exciting enough and engaging enough that for me, I was able to overlook a lot of the kind of cliche sort of, it, and it, it didn't feel like a lot of that was at play. You had your renegade cop, your feisty she cop sidekick. It wasn't really a renegade cop. I mean, a lot of the most boring. He was definitely the. A lot of the beatings he dished out would have been unconstitutional. Like, in, <laughs> if you bring that into court, you show the you show the body cam footage. Other, other dude with an assassin tattoo holding a gun up to his face and got killed. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't have been admissible. I'm just saying that's getting thrown out. Not as just like a. I'm just saying. Outside of that, as you're watching the film, I don't feel like it suffered from any of those sort of. Oh, this is just a goofy kung fu movie. Like, ah, 
I genuinely enjoyed the show. Yeah. I, thought, I thought that the fights were good as a non-martial artist. I thought the fights. No, they were well done. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It, it didn't well feel like one point we're watching Action USA and it's just like, well choreographed. It definitely it didn't have the feeling of like say your Samurai Cops yeah. or Dolomite, where it's basically they just go and okay, just, yeah, just throw swing and throw some <laughs> kicks and. Yeah. You know, whatever happens, happens. You know, and, and they definitely cool. choreographed it. They had some good fights. Uh, mainly your kind of karate variety. Yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, it was good. Occasionally, there were some good, more grappling kind of throws. Yeah. Someone's got to get kicked out of a window every time. I saw one good hip throw. Everybody has not once mentioned the damn mom. Oh, of course. <laughs> Saving the best for The crux of the movie, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that is what brings the police in on this. Is, what's the big dude's name? Asian guy. Wasn't he wearing some other He was in movie? Three Ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> that is the one that comes to yeah. mind. Did he play Odd Job or was that another? I think he was Odd Job. He might have well, been. He looked, looked like the guy looked that like played Odd Job. Yeah. Big, muscly Asian. Yeah. Like the little, like, with the flat top and the goatee. Yeah. I mean, he did look like Odd Job. We haven't done a research. <laughs> you know, he, there, there, there's like four Asians in this movie that have been in a thousand years. Yeah. 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 Strong cast. Yeah. Strong cast. Our job got got dim marked. Yeah, so yeah, so David Carradine's selling all these stolen cars, and that's yes. what that's what our main character's little brother's doing. He's stealing cars for him. David Carradine's so shady. I don't understand why anybody works for this man. Terrible businessman. <laughs> so they they sell these cars, and he's like, he's like, your big Asian guy's been eyeballing me this whole time, and it's pissing me off. Yeah. So I'm gonna wager you. I'll uh, if, you know, I'll fight I'll, him. Yeah. If if I win, you pay us double. If he, if he wins, you get the car for free. Yeah. He's like, okay. Winner walks away alive. Yeah. And then <laughs> he just. I mean. Declares a death match. Odd job gets him in like the guillotine show, yeah. basically, and it looks like David Carradine's dead. Right. He's just hanging there. And then he just looks up. It does the palm <laughs> to the chest. <laughs> Dies his bruise on the his death, chest. Death right there. touch. Yeah, the death touch. One touch the kill. Touch. So many different things. When I was a little kid, my dad thought that Tim Mac was the funniest thing. He would do that joke all. He's like, ah, oh, it's the poison hand. We talk about the poison hand. Uh, yeah, uh, there's another movie that talks about the, the Dim Mock the Dim Mac. It's a uh, man who scared me. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's based on like what the military is doing with like the group. Oh yeah, it's like, based it, on yeah, true story. Yeah, 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 it's based on true story. But one of the dudes as the other guy's leaving base or whatever, he's he got discharged. The other guy in the army runs up and does the dim mock, which is what he does. He just like pokes him on the head. But their <laughs> right. definition of the dim mock is you'll die from it. You just don't know when. Oh, oh yeah. that's fucking. <laughs> so, like once you get hit, you'll have a mark. stroke yeah. like a year from yeah. now. Yeah, that's that's their their definition of <coughs> what it does. Yeah, instead of instant death. So yeah, so they get in on this. Then the cop starts trying to track this shit down. And there's this random weird black dude that's always following David Carradine around and wants to get his face. When I first watched this, I thought it was shit because of the super waves and the baby girl. I've not really seen dudes. Yeah, the do waves. That. Yeah, the I've waves. seen waves before, okay, but it, this was super wavy. Faster Brown. Uh, yeah. Faster. His name's Faster. Yeah, Faster. Yeah, faster. Brown. And he just always he's, he's he's wanting to work for David here. He just keeps coming back. Get it, information. Yeah. yeah. He same appears in parody is like, I don't care what you have yeah. to tell me. I just don't like you. I don't like you. Get away. <laughs> like, if I see you me again, again, I'll kill you. I will show you what these nunchucks can do. That guy's just always carrying around nunchucks. Yeah, he's always. got the nunchucks. Always got nunchucks on deck, ready to chug. I think, to me, it, okay, if you have nunchucks, you have to be one, you have to be one of two people. 
you have to be Michelangelo the Ninja Turtle, yeah, or you got to be Bruce Lee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just like why? Why even bother with that? <laughs> yeah, that Hold them out of his shirt too. Just like let's do this. You know? yeah, at one point, uh, this faster and the little brother have a nunchuck fight. Oh yeah, David Carradine makes him. Yeah, the second time he comes back, he's like. I saw you caught giving you money. Yeah, the guy he wants he sees the the little brother and his brother his cop brother. He see they see them together and he thinks he's an informant for the police. So he wants to turn him into David Carradine to get in. That was the last time. The yeah. second time was uh, faster comes back. He's like he's a he's an informant. He's like no, he's not. And then he's making the younger brother shoot him. Yeah, he Get says, prove you're not a cop. Yeah. He gives him a, a six He shooter. just wants that dude dead. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> well, like, he does, after the nunchuck fight, he does shoot yeah. him. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But the brother let him go. He's like, just go. At that point, I would have stopped and let me live. Yeah, but no. Kept running back. Dead. Dead. And then the brother gets to him. Yep, there's a lesson in all of this. Dimock the little brother. Still wish David Candy was going to train him, teach him to Dimock, make him fight his brother. Fight his brother. That would have been good. Yes. Yeah, that would have been, been a badass move. To see an epic battle like that. Just be like, whisper in his ear, like, your brother's been looking down on you your whole life, hasn't yeah. he? He doesn't even know you do, Marshall. He doesn't believe in you at all. Yeah, yeah you know, just saying all that kind of <laughs> shit. He's like, yeah. Yeah, your dad and, died and he ran off to Hong Kong. <laughs> then we with, get a when he needed him the most. Yeah, and then we get like a dim mock like training montage where he's like dim mocking like pigs and like <laughs> goats and shit. They're falling over dying. And then he like he gets some fucking Chinese slave and he's like, try it, do it. Do it. Like, no, I don't want it. Do it. It'll be your first step to be my true son. And then he's like, yeah. That's the director's cut yeah. ending. We, we should just redo this movie. I am that. <laughs> Listen, I want to do a martial arts movie. You know, I already have a whole thing. I would love to do it. Nice. I want to be a goon in your movie. Oh, yeah? Okay. Do some guy. Can I be the one that gets thrown out the window for the window throwing scene? Sure. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Is there a Patreon link? Yeah. yeah. He'd be real glass. I don't get <laughs> Okay. It's probably cheaper to get real glass. He'll take the fall. He'll take the beating. I do we'll need somebody to take yeah. some beating. Yeah. 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 I want 200 bucks and a pack of spirits. <laughs> <laughs> and credits. You I got want it. film credits. Nice. Oh, yeah. You'll be That's definitely. Cheap. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Nice. I just like to hang but out with my brother. Because we'll have to throw you multiple times as multiple characters. Yeah. So. That's fine. Yeah, well, That's fine. Dress you Don't up. expect the full hairline. That's not coming we'll back. We'll give you a nice wig. Yeah, or... can I keep the wig? Yeah, nice. of course. We'll nice. have to do the beards on and off. Well, it goes back. We'll have to film scenes with beards, shave yeah. it, maybe do a mustache scene. Well, if we, if yeah, we line we it all, it, oh, yeah, I can pull up a, a, a strong mustache. If we, like, yeah. time it out, right, we film all the beard scenes. Yeah. All the mustache yeah. scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Clean face. Yeah. Right. yeah. One with a little Hitler mustache. Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> we'll throw on some time travel. Actually, thank you. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. About to kick off my film career. Yeah. Remember this face. You're not going to see it on this YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's where the video is. That's where the movie's at. I mean, it can be anywhere. Could be. I'm getting thrown out of window. I gotta. Get, I have to get back in my film. I have to start caring about making a movie again. Yeah. Well, now that you've got someone to throw out of glass, yeah, I think that's what gives pretty. me inspiration. Sure, we can do it again. Oh, I would love nothing more. Yeah, yeah, get the only thing get thrown out by Paul. Oh, we have a whole bar fight scene starting at the carry. There's a ring. Yeah. 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 I could get thrown off that. Yeah, fight my way over here. I feel here. like we can get them to. Oh, they do. Yeah. 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 That'll be a good time. Good tempers, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> this movie. Back to the movie. Uh, I, I appreciate, so we get to the, the, final, the final fight. And what I really wanted to happen, since we didn't get what you said. Oh, yeah. We, we've got our fight between David Carradine and our main lame dude. Barry J. Gillis look alike. Yeah. 
<laughs> they have a little... Uh, well, actually, you know what? It's not a good fight because immediately... Because you think, like, David Carradine's a badass, right? He's a Kung Fu master badass. He's got, oh, like, yeah. a wall of trophies. He does the fucking... He's got the poison hand. Yeah. And our, our fucking boring-ass protagonist hits him one time, and he's like, shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> he, like, immediately, he immediately gives yes. up. He's like, shoot him! And so then his British Asian guy yeah. Yeah, we didn't goes touch to on shoot him, and that's when his girlfriend flies in, and, yeah. and she kicks the Asian guy's ass. Yeah, Fuck she was most of the badass fighting. Yeah, I was kind of crushing on her. Oh yeah, the whole movie. I thought like I thought pants. her. You like I, the hair? I did like the pants and the, the hair. hair. Yeah, like the I thought hair? the hair was nice. Yeah, I and then she'd come in just chopping up some freaking Asian Yeah, she's definitely coming in, kicking people in their face. Like that's the kind of loyalty you need. I, you know, she wasn't naked. That was her. That's yeah, always. I don't weird. remember seeing it. Yeah. All the only nipple we saw was Duke's nipple. The entire movie. What, what, what was weird? You had the naked girl in the background of the weird out coming to push the girl on. Yeah, they they push it out. They yeah, uh, you know, those ratings were probably pretty hard to get. That's a whole PG thirteen. There was no blood. There was no blood. I can see on any of the corpses. So yeah. probably trying to keep. Yeah, it. I wouldn't think of this as an R rating. There wasn't any gore or yeah. really violence. Was pretty tame. Not a lot of swearing. Either. Yeah. But uh, he, uh, our dude. I don't even know what the fuck the main character's name was. Uh, oh, his real name. Well, any name. Well, well, real name, fictional name. Is Marshall Law. Oh, well, yeah, his, his nickname. Name. Yeah, it's it was Marshall, Marshall Law. Law, right? But it's uh, his uh, real name is like Saunders. Like, like what was the brother's name? What was the brother's name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Little yeah, Jimmy. 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 Like something. the details sort of become irrelevant. You're kind of just along for the ride. It's, yeah. It's not. He was just. I, I just. My, I'm just saying the main guy was not very charismatic or interesting. Yeah. He was kind of. I think you could have put anybody in that seat. They would have been just the same as not. Bad. You could have had Patrick playing that same role and probably had a more interesting. Role. Just because I feel like <laughs> the main character itself wasn't like the catalyst for what was going on. He seemed to always just be kind of reacting. Yeah, he was yeah. just like everything was happening around him. He's happening like, to him, and he's just well. I guess I gotta, you know. Sometimes it just falls right into your lap. <laughs> well, yeah, but the next thing you know, your brother's dead, stealing Porsches. Now there is a second one, too. There is a martial law, too. Oh! oh. We'll have to see, see if that's, that's any yeah. better. Especially if it, I imagine it's probably within the next year or two. Because I don't think it was last time. I think it was 91, actually. Yeah, it was like, yeah, I'm looking at the box, but... But yeah, at the end, he does, uh, our main character, Martial Law, does dim mock the main character. Yeah. After dodging one himself. You That's him right, because yeah. yeah, he, like, he like wound up for it, and he's like, no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to dim mock him. <laughs> nope. Words I've said. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the movie. Yeah. That's the movie. I guess we'll go into the, the, the score. Yeah. Maybe you want to go first? I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give that movie four and a half buckets. I feel like it was certainly like it wasn't too long. If it was too long, it was entertaining enough that you don't notice it. The fight scenes were good. They didn't. For a lack of writing, they didn't spend too much time dwelling on the lack of writing. Yeah. It was a good film, I enjoyed. I'm ready for the second. It's a good solid score. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to give it a four. Four for me, just main character. I don't think you could find this, this thing. I mean, that's, that's really my only issue for this movie. Just that main character. Maybe he's better than the second one. I doubt he's in the second one. He is. He is? Yeah. He's in the second one. But, yeah, that's just my only Only two movie. movies he's been in. Yeah, <laughs> the only two. And after that, he went back to Canada to make his movie. Is he really? I thought no, you were just... Uh, oh. no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I... no, no we, we've met talking. Listen, we have met and talked with Gary J. Yeah. Go check out that video. 
and Brian was straight up insulted by Jared Berejiklian. <laughs> Some shady shit. <laughs> Up shit. Wait, Barry J. Gillis talk shit to Brian? Oh, yeah. Our all Brian. Kinds of yes. shit. Yeah, all kinds of shit. I don't know if I would have stood for that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm letting BJG <laughs> talk shit to Brian like that. That's not Barry okay. J. Gillis can say anything he wants. He's a madman. Is he really a fighter, though? Will he really, will... No, he's a madman. He's, he's, he's out there. Okay, but he's talking S to our boy. That's our boy. It doesn't matter how mad he is. You gotta set him straight. <laughs> if he talked crap to Brian, well, okay, was he in Canada when he was talking to Brian? Yes. Okay. See, that makes sense. That's something the Canadian would do. It is was talk over crap from. Facebook, it was you know, Facebook. it's not like. It's nothing. When Take we that, interviewed Canada. him, it was all good. Yeah. Go watch that on the channel. Go watch that on the channel. Brian beats the piss. Out of Barry J. Gillis. <laughs> I love Barry J. Gillis. I, don't, I yeah. mean, What's, well, how many buckets do you give this uh, movie? I, yeah, I'm gonna go four. I, it, it is definitely a generic '90s action movie, and you've seen a lot of this shit before. But it does it well. Yeah. You know, like I, I didn't get bored. No. Yeah. And it, the, the action was a, it was above average. I think acting was okay. I mean, I. They say a main character could have been better. There, there could have been. Some, we we already wrote a better yeah ending uh, right, to yeah, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, yeah. thirty years later, of course. But yeah, it's a solid. It's a solid action for the movie from the nineties. So. Which you know you, they don't do that anymore. So yeah, four out of five. It's a great movie. You should watch it. You should definitely crazy watch it. Special effects, no slow mo. Which I think it did itself a favor by that by not further hacking. You know, up. yeah, they didn't. You know, they they stayed within their means. It was physical action. They didn't like throw in a bunch of lame car chases. Yeah, there yeah. was there was the martial arts on the beach. There were two beach scenes because the the little brother's walking on the beach. He throws his money away. He throws his blood money away. Yeah. <laughs> and then later, after his he's been killed, older brothers out there practicing. Oh yeah, he's training. The dim what's the dim sum? No, dim sum. He's dim practicing sum. the dim sum. <laughs> yeah, he's practicing the dim mud. I don't know the name. Dim mud. I don't know. Yeah. Don't dim make monk. me say it again. Dim monk. Dim monk. Don't, dim monk. don't make me guess. Dim monk. Dim monk. I'm not gonna say it. He's out there practicing on the beach. Yeah, you know, there's some little training montage. Him warming up, straight out of karate. Yeah. Limbering up. Good movie. Good movie. We give it an average of uh, four point one three repeated. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That, that we, works. Got we got it. He's a math. He's a math guy. He's looking for a job. Hey. Need him for math. <laughs> no, he's I, a man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm stopping. <laughs>